Hello everyone, I'm doing a video for you if you are getting the annoying insufficient storage uh, message that pops up when you've downloaded too many apps uh, to your tablet and it won't let you download anymore. I have a few methods of how to do this uh, for both rooted and non-rooted uh, on KitKat and Marshmallow. There's different methods to do it on KitKat and a different method on Marshmallow. So I'll show you the first uh, non-rooted uh, way of doing it. So you need to install this app from the App Store called App MGR Free. So once you've installed it, click on the icon. Uh, you should get um, a screen that says Move Apps, and these are all your movable ones, or my movable ones. Um, and before I move any, I'll just show you this. It's got a picture of an SD card with an X on it. You can still move it, but basically an error will come up saying, um, for this one, it says that the app widget will be removed from the screen. So if you're using a widget, um, it will disappear and you can't use it. So maybe not move that. Oh, okay. So for example, if I wanted to move an app called Call Reader, I can't even remember downloading it, to be honest, but you just click on it. On KitKat, it says move to SD card. So all you need to do is press that. Give it about five seconds or depending on how big the app is it might take a bit longer there we are it's moved over so that's if you are non-rooted that's a nice easy way and then you can see uh, if you click up there on SD card um, what ones are on your SD card now see I've done quite a few if that still doesn't work then you need to um, root your device it'll make it a bit easier then um, for this method on KitKat um, you need to go on this app, uh, sorry, you need to go on this uh, website here and I'm going to put all of this in the description so that you can follow along. Okay, so this method, uh, you need to be, uh, you need to have downloaded um, Exposed Framework for this to work and you need to install um, these two apps here. Now if you go to the bit that says how to swap internal storage with the SD card in Android, uh, you need to go on step one and can you see where it says click here and click here? And also, yeah, you need to make sure that you've got unknown devices. I'm oh, sorry, no, unknown sources uh, ticked so that you can download them. So just press download, uh, go back to uh, that one and install X internal SD. Click on there and uh, install that. And then make sure that you have um, exposed um, installed. So first go on modules. And I have tried other ones and they didn't work up here. So just tick um, X internal SD and make sure that's um, ticked and then reboot your device. So restart it. And then all you need to do is go to uh, WSN tools. And make sure that's been ticked up there. So just make sure it's on modules. I'm trying to think. Maybe you're on that setting, you just go back. You just need to press back till you get on the screen here. Click X internal SD. Next, you need to go to onto the X internal SD app. Click on that, and you'll see that the internal SD card. Um, that's the pathway. It should be exactly like that. And then you need to have custom path to internal SD um, ticked. So you need to have enable for all apps ticked, and you need to have full access to external SD card. Okay, and then restart your device again, and then from now on, you shouldn't get that awful message pop up. If this instructions were confusing, you can uh, go back onto this URL that I provided. Maybe that might um, make more sense to you. I'm pretty sure I've gone through it exactly. I, I did this uh, a few months ago, so I'm trying to do this from memory. So, um, yeah. Now, when you get onto Marshmallow, it's totally different. Um, and I'll show you on my girlfriend's tablet let me just okay now I haven't tried that on my girlfriend's tablet but I found another way of doing it it's called root essentials so you need to download that app and again this is if you're a marshmallow go to the storage tab and then you'll have all this come up um, you will have to back up all of your stuff on your SD card so uh, plug it into your um, computer you know, take everything off and put it in a folder because we are about to format um, the SD card. Um, and it says up here, note that Samsung removed adoptable storage for a good reason. Your SD card can no longer be used on a computer. 
so it won't recognize the SD card unless you revert the changes if you decide down the road that you want to change it back to like a SD card that works on a computer it won't recognize it basically so you need to click adopt once you've backed up everything I'm not going to go through with it because it will wipe everything but I think it gives you the option of how much percentage do you want it to um, be like official internal storage so technically you could leave about five gigabytes left if you did want it to be like a SD card or you can just make it 100% internal storage I hope I explained that correctly it makes sense in my head anyway so yeah, you guys will press OK um, I'm not gonna do that so the next thing you need to do is go on migrate data uh, SD card and then more you will have something different up here it will say migrate data on mine it says format as portable uh, storage we don't want to do that because then you're formatting it back to how it was previously and we don't want that we want it to think that this is internal storage so if you don't have a Samsung device and it's on marshmallow this should already work but if you do have a Samsung device you'll need to do this but just remember that it won't work like an SD card okay so we've done that view storage there we go and it combines all of it into one um, so now it thinks that it's got 45 gigabytes of data which is awesome okay hopefully that all made sense uh, I haven't done a video in a while so I uh, might be a bit rusty doing all this hopefully that made a lot of sense to you and uh, you won't have any more problems with your tablet put a comment down below if uh, you're stuck with anything I'll try my hardest to help you and um, yeah have a good New Year's New Year's Day tomorrow crazy this year's gone too quick I'm gonna have to do some more videos next year anyway have a good day see you later bye bye